the morning world of Facebook. Depression, mental health, and why I didn't post this yesterday. Yesterday was uh, World Mental Health Awareness Day, if you're watching this on a rerun a couple of days, or even a couple of years later. Hello from the past. Um, right, so I could have done this video yesterday, but I chose not to. I'm gonna get into that in a minute. I want to take you back to 2014. 2014, if you don't know, I got really sick. I had heart surgery in 2012, uh, and I bounced back pretty quick from that, or at least I thought I did, right? 2014, um, I got really sick with what's called endocarditis, which is an infection in the heart itself, and there was worries at the time that it was gonna dislodge my artificial heart valve and wouldn't have given me much time left to breathe. Um, that was really scary, if I'm brutally honest with you. Um, and worse than that, I, I kind of bounced through it. it the med medication was really harsh. It played a number on my head. Uh, it played a number on my body as well, if I'm honest with you. Um, but I bounced back, only not as great as I should have done, right? So after having a month in hospital, I spent like a further two and a half, maybe three months lying on a sofa in a, in a really, really bad state and, and recovering from medication and entering into, uh, quite frankly, probably the worst, no, no, not, not really, the, the worst depression I've ever had. I've never suffered too much with depression. I'm not going to hide this from you. Um, I go through depressive states, but I don't suffer with depression. However, that time, yeah, like that one really, really got to me. Uh, my mind was not in a good place. Uh, I didn't, didn't, straight up, mum, if you're watching, sorry, I uh, didn't want to live. Um, things really weren't good. Um, the, the best thing I found I could do at the time uh, was nothing, because that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to lie on a sofa and just wallow in the fact that I was feeling really, really lousy and really, really sad and really out of it. Um, but the best thing I found that I could do, eventually, once I managed to pick myself up, was actually just to get out of that state, was to get, to get myself off the sofa and just to get myself moving. Because, see, the worst thing is, is, is when you feel like that, you don't want to do anything. And when you don't do anything, it makes you feel worse. When you then lose yourself in Facebook, when you lose yourself in social media and you compare yourself constantly to others' perfect little fucking lives, you feel worse. I remember, now, now many of you guys know me and many of you guys have followed me for some time and I'm a, I'm a happy guy, I'm a friendly guy. You know, and I remember looking through my Facebook feed and seeing everybody's happy little lives and really resenting them for it. Really looking through my news feed and going, oh, I hate reading your stuff now. But all they were doing was saying about like, the fact they'd had a great time with their kids or the fact that they've just got this job promotion or whatever. I hated watching it because I felt so low in myself that I couldn't watch it anymore. So eventually, once I got through that, the best thing I found I could do was move. Get off that sofa and get moving because the worst thing you can do is stay there because it keeps you there. There's a big thing to change your state. You've got to change your state in order to change your mind. Now, if your state is one whereby you're still lying on the sofa in your pajamas, then your state is essentially flawed, it's failed, and it's not going to pull you back. What you need to do is get up and get moving. Okay, just go for a walk around the block. It doesn't matter if you only go for five minutes. If that is all you can manage to get out the house today, then please do so. That is the best thing you can do. If it's to go for 20 minutes, awesome, that's even better. And if it's to go and see somebody for coffee, or even better, go walk in with a friend, then that is even better, because now you've changed your state. You're not now in that state where you're lying on a sofa, you're up and you're moving. There's, there's, there's direct links to exercise uh, and serotonin and dopamine, i.e. happy hormones that will make you feel better. There's direct links. One single dose of exercise will boost these hormones that will make you feel better for one to two hours afterwards. That exercise only has to be walking people. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular. If you can hit a gym, if you can go and do a workout class, awesome, all the better. You're gonna feel, feel better afterwards. But if you can't go that far, then just get out and get walking. Don't even worry about seeing people, right? People are important. People will help pull you through, or the right people will help pull you through. But if you can't be with people at that point, then don't be. Put your music on, get out and do something. Lying around is not gonna help. Drinking is not gonna help. Drinking alcohol is the worst thing you can hands down do if you are in a depressed or an anxious state. 
Even, to be fair, if you're in somewhat stressed state, if you're overwhelmed, alcohol is not going to help. And this comes from me, and I don't hide the fact that alcohol is the one thing that, like, that's the thing that I, at times I find hard, okay? But the problem with it is it makes you feel good right now. But tomorrow you feel really bad. Even if you haven't had so much that, that you've got a hangover, even if you've had a couple of drinks, those chemicals, those feelings are still going to come back, and they're going to come back tenfold tomorrow morning. So don't rely on that. Make sure that you stay away from that. Make sure that you do things that are better for you. Drinking, al uh, drinking alcohol, we've been through that. Eating. Eating can be a good thing if we eat the right foods. Now, you follow me? You know I'm not one for saying it all has to be healthy. We all have to eat fruit and veg all the time. No, we don't. We can have our treats. However, if you're having too many treats... It's going to make you put some weight on. It's going to make you feel rubbish. Then what's going to happen to your stress, your overwhelm, your anxiety, and your depression? Well, now you've just made it worse. Because now you've just made how you feel. You've made how you feel worse because you feel you've made how you look worse. So you've made it ten times worse. Also, not to mention the fact that if we're having something that's a little bit fresher, we're having our fruits, we're having our veggies... We're getting all those nutrients, we're getting all those good feelings. Those good feelings, those, those minerals, those everything are going to boost those happy hormones. They're going to make you feel a little bit better. You start looking after yourself, you start looking after your mind. Right? Real, real easy one. Um, so that's kind of my top three, right? Now I just want to really, just for two seconds now, just explain why I didn't post this yesterday, yesterday being World Health Day. Uh, sorry, well, World Mental Health Awareness Day. The reason why I didn't post this video yesterday, the reason why I didn't go deep into my, my layers of what I've been through in depression, and this isn't to mention the fact that I do go through levels of anxiety, folks. I just kind of keep it to me at times. Um, the reason why I didn't post it yesterday is because as much as I think these days are very powerful, and as much as I think that we live in a great world where we're, we're mind open to these things, where now we don't see these things as a, as a bad thing, now that we, we're open, we're honest about how we feel about these, these things, awesome. The old style Brit, British stiff upper lip, it's had its day, okay? It's got a place still, but bottling things up doesn't help. You, you, you keep that stuff to yourself, it makes you worse. Everybody knows this by now, okay? You've got to get it out. Now, the difference between getting it out and getting it gone or getting it out and keeping it on your chest. So if you tell one person and you tell a million people, you're keeping it on your chest. When you keep on going on and on and on, you're not going to win. When you go on, but you're still actioning things, you're doing things, you're, oh my God, I feel so low today, but I'm going to go for a walk. Now you're actioning. Now you're not whinging. Now you're getting on with life, right? You're still saying you feel low, but you're actioning something that's going to make you feel better. So powerful, right? But the reason why I didn't discuss this yesterday was because I don't think these things should be limited to just one day. I don't think we should be reminded that we have to have one day of the year whereby we accept others' flaws because we're in an essentially a flawed society when we do this. When we just say, just for one day, we're going to say, yes, what you're feeling is normal. However, for the other 364 days of the year, we don't want to hear about that, okay? Uh, but hard to break those habits. You, exactly. Hard to break those habits. 100% Lisa. Do not disagree with you. Okay. Habits are always hard to break. We've done videos on habits before. And, and the problem with these types of habits is they're lifestyle habits. They're habits that you've had for a long, long time, right? The, the habit of, of wanting to, after a bad day, just, just throw your pajamas on and, and just shut out the world, sit in a dark room and, and just watch trash TV. Sure, can be helpful. But not if that's what you're always going to, and now it's not helping anymore. You know, we need to get to a point whereby we're accepting, and we're, we're acceptance of the fact that if there's one way that's not working, we need to find a new way. Now, we as human beings are ever-evolving, and we will get used to every single way that we try. We'll get used to every form of, of weight loss thing that we try. We'll get used to every form of exercise modality that we try because we're ever evolving and we will adapt to the stresses and the strains that we put ourselves under. So at times, when you've got used to the thing that was working for you, if it's no longer working, it's time for a change. Plain and simple. But we need to accept that these things are, are a lifetime thing. 
Okay, we need to accept that the acceptance of others' stress, depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia, whatever it might be, we need to accept that these things is an every single day occurrence. It's not just a one day of the year thing. That is mostly my rant for this morning. People, thank you very much for viewing. Um, hopefully, somebody's got something from it and me not just wittering into a camera. Uh, I'm gonna go and have some breakfast. Um, today is another national day. I might talk about that later. Yeah, I will. Tomorrow, today's another national day. Mm, probably one that'll hit a few nerves, actually. Uh, anyway, we'll discuss that later. Folks, thank you so much for watching this morning. Uh, it's been awesome. Ciao. Have a good day.